Greetings, everyone. My name is Alfeka Mutardi, and I am a macroeconomist with the Coalition for a National Infrastructure Bank. And I would like to tell you a little bit about um, our proposal to, to create a national infrastructure bank, which is now encoded in legislation introduced into the, con into the Congress, that is H.R. 6422, to create a national infrastructure bank. Actually, we've done this four times in our nation's past, uh, starting with the first bank of the United States under Alexander Hamilton and ending with the fourth iteration under FDR's Reconstruction Finance Corporation that uh, got us out of the Great Depression and helped us to win World War II. And this bank would be configured just like those other banks. This iteration around, what we did was to ask ourselves the question, if we wanted to fix everything in the United States, uh, how much money would we need and what would it take? So uh, we went to the American Society of Civil Engineers who say uh, to fix everything, that is roads, bridges, water projects, the electric power grid, um, schools, and other um, important projects, we would need at least $4.6 trillion, and maybe half of that was funded, but the other half, two and a half trillion, is definitely not funded. So our bank will cover that. In addition, other large projects like high-speed rail, affordable housing, and urban and rural uh, development, and broadband everywhere, by the way. So um, this bank would work just like uh, the four banks in the past, it would be an independent public bank that would be capitalized with existing treasury debt that would be invested into the bank. And then the, the bank would give out loans, just like any commercial bank gives a loan, but only for infrastructure projects. Uh, and they would charge, the bank would charge the lowest interest rate around, which is about 2%, that, that would be the floor on, um, on the interest. And um, then the, the reason for configuring the bank in this way is so that with respect to the federal budget, this bank will be budget neutral, will not require any new taxes, and will not create any new debt. Now, as a macroeconomist, I can tell you that this bank will be great for supercharging the American economy and getting us out into this really deep recession that we've fallen into on account of the coronavirus shutdown. We reckon that at least uh, some anywhere from 40 million uh, workers, as much as 40 million workers may be unemployed and many of those jobs may not come back. So this bank is configured to create 25 million new great paying jobs that will pay union level wages. It will retrain people from other professions uh, to do this infrastructure uh, built construction and uh, will we'll go a great way to lifting us out of this Great Depression that we're in. And oh, by the way, um, state and local finances, which have fallen really uh, into deficit right now on account of the, the large number of folks that are unemployed, will be immediately relieved by this uh, bank because all of the folks that are unemployed will be put back to work very quickly. And we don't think that there will be a problem um, starting construction under the coronavirus world because we have examples of construction uh, industries that are going moving forward right now, that's mostly outdoor work, uh, that, ha that have as good safety records as uh, any that are indispensable parts of the economy that are working right now. Thank you very much for your time.